Let's bring in Republican Senator Roger Wicker now from Mississippi. Senator Wicker, thanks for joining us this morning. You just heard uh, Secretary Granholm right there said the only way America is going to win is if they pass this package now. Well, listen, we're willing to negotiate a, a much smaller package, but um, I, I thought Jonathan Carl's lead-in piece was uh, made uh, a very good point. Uh, Americans voted for a pragmatic moderate that, that uh, they thought Joe Biden was. Uh, where is that centrist candidate they thought they were voting for back in November of last year? I mean, you, you've, got, um, you've got a proposal here of 2.3 trillion dollars, 70 percent of which cannot by any stretch of the, ma the imagination be called infrastructure. That's on top of 1.9 trillion dollars a few weeks ago, most of which was not COVID related. We're told another two trillion is on the way, and that's on top of this $1.5 trillion skinny federal budget that the, the president rolled out just uh, this past week. Where does the spending end? Uh, and this is a massive social welfare spending program combined with a massive tax increase on small business job creators. I, I can't think of a worse thing to do at Senator, uh, uh, Secretary Granholm was talking about uh, bringing us out of this uh, recession caused by COVID. I, I can't think of a worse tax to put on the American people than, than to raise taxes on small business job creators, which is what this bill would do. Well, the corporate tax would still be well below the level it was before President Trump's tax cuts went into effect. And the evidence that those tax cuts actually increased any kind of investment is minimal. Well, I, I, I totally disagree. Back in February of 2020, before the, the COVID recession hit us, unemployment rate was 3.5 percent, an unheard of uh, low amount. A lot of people re-entering the, the workforce, in, including uh, minority work uh, participation, veteran work participation, uh, female job participation was up and we had 3.5 percent unemployment. I think uh, I think the, the tax package of 2017 really was our signature accomplishment. And it, it ushered in and was about to usher in before the, the pandemic took over. It was about to usher in even greater economic growth. So I, I would just say uh, to this, I'm, I'm meeting with the president tomorrow at 1.30 if my plane gets in, into Washington on time. Um, we are willing to negotiate with him um, on an infrastructure package. And this um, trillion dollar number is uh, way too high for me, uh, I'll just tell you. But, but negotiation has to be something different from what we had on the rescue plan. But um, Senator, if- The if, president if, offered $1.9 trillion. Republicans came back with $600 billion. And the president said, that's not good enough, make me another offer. Now, that's, that is normally not the way negotiations go. The president should have come back with a counteroffer. And if he will do that with the Republicans that are meeting with him in the White House tomorrow, I think we can get somewhere and, and have a much bigger infrastructure package than we, than we were able to do under the last administration. I'm in favor of that. And, and I think um, the majority of Republicans are, and, and uh, we get a lot of Democrats to help us on that. And then we'll talk about these social welfare programs that make up 70 percent of this new package that the, the president is calling infrastructure. Senator Wicker, thanks for your time this morning. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.